it is 1.47 a.m. And what shows up in my blog post or what shows up in my feed? New York Times article, Manchin pulls plug on climate and tax talks, shrinking domestic plan. Once again, a Democrat named Manchin decided to put a stake in the heart of Joe Biden's economic program for the average American citizen. Oh, the bill that gave money to the plutocracy, that gave money to those big builders, that gave money to the guys who are going to build infrastructure on your backs. Wasn't the problem giving them the money, but investing in human beings, investing in ensuring that the climate doesn't fry us all. But, you know, they don't care. They don't care. They'll be dead by the time we get up another 0.5 degrees. By the time all these hurricanes are coming with full force, they'll be long dead and gone. That is the height of selfishness. That is the height of evil, Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin is no different than any one of the soulless Republican leaders out there. He has condemned the world. Condemned the world. We could have done so much. And using the night, I find it ironic, right? One of the excuses, here's, here's the headline, first of all. I mean, it, it, it is just completely, ridiculously amazing. Manchin pulls plug on climate and talk, tax talks, shrinking domestic plan. The West Virginia Democrats' decision dealt a crushing blow to President Biden's domestic agenda, effectively ruling out action on anything beyond prescription drugs, health care subsidies. Senator Joe Manchin, Democrat of West Virginia, pulled the plug on Thursday on negotiations to salvage key pieces of President Biden's agenda, informing his party's leaders that he would not support funding for climate or energy programs or raising taxes on wealthy Americans and corporations. They're making a killing. The inflation rate that we have today, that increase in prices, are going directly to line the pockets of these rich people. And Manchin said, not even that. Not even taking back some of that to take care of our climate. Not even taking care of some of that to take care of the things to put our kids through school, to ensure that we can invest in human beings. A decision by Manchin, a conservative-leaning Democrat, whose opposition has effectively stalled Mr. Biden's economic package in the evenly divided Senate, dealt a devastating blow to his party's efforts to enact a broad, broad social safety net, climate, and tax package. Well, you know, I can't say I'm surprised, right? I knew, he, you know, he strings you along and he strings you along so that you don't have enough time to build, to build up against him. That's why he's stringing them along and they never learn. The president never learns. The president thinks he can negotiate with the Republican leadership. The president thinks he can negotiate with Manchin and Cinema. You can't. What you can do is use your bully pulpit and start building up others, start building up the other senators that we need to get elected to get things done. You know, you don't have to throw mansion to the dog so that he'll run to McConnell and say, hey, McConnell, you are now the speaker. You are now the majority leader. We don't, we don't have to go that far. But we can start working towards doing things right. We can start working towards letting those people that, whose votes we need in November understand that, hey, unless you vote, it only gets worse. What we want is to get better, and it's high time now for Biden to see that the moderate way is a disaster, not only for Americans, but humanity at large, from the, from the, from the environment to people's health, 
to the transfer of the people's monies to the parasites. The parasites being those capitalists who produce nothing but have all of us produce for them. We produce and they take the cut. We produce and they take most of it. That's where we're at, folks. You know, um, uh, Schumer said it was a gut punch. Why? It's not a gut punch. Stop playing with the American people. I tell you what, though. Look, where people always want to throw their hands up in the air and say, we just, we just don't matter. I'm saying now is the time to redouble your efforts and put the folks in there that's actually going to get something done. And we still have time. We still have time. There's still a lot of primaries out there. Stop voting for those who believe in some mythical center. Start voting full-fledged progressives wherever you can find them. Wherever you can find them. And get ready, folks, because soon we are going to have to exert our will, the national strike. You remember how when, during the pandemic, when the economy shut down, how the rich folks got scared? And they really started to try to do things right. And now that it's back, the parasites, the psychopaths, they just can't get enough. They just can't stop taking. They can't do basic arithmetic. If they are growing at 7% and we are growing at 2% or less, it's unsustainable and they know it. So they don't mind taking it all. Joe Manchin, Joe Manchin, Joe Manchin. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.